Found some. Get in the boat, boy. Don't want me to tie it to the boat? change. The forest feels different now. Everything is different, boy. Try not to dwell on it. Yes, sir. the last. I see my mother. Oh, there do I see my father. Oh, there do they call to me. Oh, there do they call to me.
She's ready. Sorry. Squeeze. This knife it was hers. Now it is yours. Shall we? Now? Now. What are we hunting? You are hunting deer. Which way? In the direction of deer. Okay. Uh, this way. But they're too round. Could be a wild boar. Good. Oh! Now what? This way, boy. Deer tracks. They're fresh. This way. Ah! <laughs> Found it. Slow down, boy. Sorry. You are hunting deer, not chasing it. Yes, father. You broke our bridge. How are we going to get across? Step aside. Wow. Go. Oh, what happened here? There it is. Hold. What are you doing? Now his guard is up. Only fire. Holy fire, when I tell you to fire. I'm sorry. Do not be sorry. Be better. Find it. Find it. You 
went to the old temple. But Mom told me never to go in there. We do what we please, boy. No excuses. from here. We should get closer. I went hunting with Mother a bunch of times. She never wanted to take me. Why now? It was her wish. And it was time. Okay. Something's gotta open that gate. it in place. Clever. So... what you started. Boy! Boy! Look at me! We did it! You are not ready. What? Are you serious? I found the deer! I proved myself! How am I not ready? We are going home. 
I haven't been sick in a long time. I can do this. You are not ready. Why would a fire troll burn Mother's garden? And since when are drawers so close to the house? And what was that frozen thing that attacked us? I do not know. Now be silent. We are almost home. Inside, boy. You lost control. That thing was trying to kill us. It's not like you don't get anger in a fight. Anger can be a weapon. If you control it, use it. You clearly cannot. When you... I haven't been sick in a long time. I'm better now. Fine. Come on, then. You want me to hit you? I want you to try. What are you... Try again. Why are you doing that? Too slow. Try again. Cut it out! Weak. Again. Again! Stop it! Again! <clears throat> Your anger. You can get lost in it. That ahead is difficult. And you, Atreus, are clearly not ready. What was that? Quiet. Come on out! There's no use hiding anymore. I know who you are. What's going on? Do you know him? More importantly, I know what you are. Boy, we need the floor. Now. But you told me never to go down there. Who is that? I do not know. What's he talking about? I do not know. Get in. Just tell me what I want to know. No need for this to get bloody. Be bigger. But you're definitely the one. Long way from home, aren't you? What do you want? Oh, you already know the answer to that. Whatever it is you seek, I do not have it. You should move on. <laughs> and here I thought your kind was supposed to be so enlightened, so much better than us, so much smarter, and yet you hide out here in the woods, 
like a coward. You do not want this fight. Oh. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I do. Leave my home. You are going to have to kill me for that to happen. I warned you. Finally. You would not listen. My How incredibly disappointing. Come on, then. Point. Did I? Will get out. 
before I end this, I want you to know one thing. I can't feel any of this. This fight is pointless. Your struggle is pointless. You didn't have to be this way. Pathetic! You can't win! I feel nothing! But you, you feel everything, yet you, you keep trying. I'm not my brother. If you'd given me what I wanted, it wouldn't have ended this way. But no! Let's finish this. Cannot stay here. Boy, there was so much. I, I thought you're all right. I am all right. Come. Gather your things. We are leaving. Thought I wasn't ready. You are not. We have no choice now. Prove me wrong. Yes, sir. Look, 
All this time, there's been a protection stave around our entire woods. But the stave's broken there. Did you cut those down? She had marked the tree she wished used for her pyre. Why'd she do that? Come. No looking back now. So, how long will it take to get to the mountain? I do not know. Before winter falls? I do not know. Okay, okay. Just over there. <laughs> Thanks. There's the mountain! Let's go! Not yet. It's fine! See? Ah! Help! Father, help! Hang on! Hurry! I'm slipping! Stay calm! Almost there! so bad slow down your haste will cost us sorry mm. <sighs> Ugh, more drawler but these aren't moving are they dead i mean more dead boy <laughs> atreus ah! This slow-eyed cock lump to cross the bridge. Hm. It's because she's scared of something in the trees over there. There's what now? Father, throw your axe at those trees on the other side of the bridge. The ones with the white trunks. Smart or something, boy. You're a boy, aren't you? Ha! Does she have a name? I don't know. Rude bastard ain't ever asked mine, so I ain't ever asked hers. Ah! Ha! What's yours? Brock. Better look at. Say, uh. You're not gonna believe me, but that axe you got, uh, it was me what made her. Me and my brother was one of our best. So don't let nobody else go work on her except for us two. You gotta handle her special. 
or she'll wreck beyond fixing. I can enhance her for you right now if it so pleases you, son of a bitch. So what say you? Ah! You are right. I do not believe you. Come, boy. There's a rune in the shape of a fork under the grip. No, dig your beach, ya dumber. That was our brand, my brother and me, before we split. I got half of it right here, see? Look, you want I should upgrade her or not? Very well. I expect an improvement. So, where's the other half of the brand? Oh, my dumb brother's got it. But I got all the talent. Look! You left me to fight alone. I did. People are one thing. Everything else you fight. Until I say stop or we are dead. Understand? Pull your weight or we go home. I understand. Good then. <laughs> this way. close to the mountain before. Looks so big. I wish Mom was here to see it. Along the side. What does it say? As we are, we two, we three. As I alone can never be. A riddle. Hmm. Maybe there's a clue around here. runes say oh it says family that's not a clue it's the answer what i alone can never be right use your knife and trace the runes into the sand really Pencil. something happened We met Brock, but I'm happier we're leaving this place. It is behind us now. Boy, these tracks. Hmm. A boar, maybe? Not sure, but I'll find it. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I hear your animal ahead. I knew it was a boy. and it looked like it bounced off. Could the boar be magical? Hmm. What do you think? It looked weirder than any boar I've ever seen. Get after it then. Stay alert. More of those people? Something else. There's 
there's Draugr here too. They must have been fighting. Here, it ran under. I got it. Elbow up, steady hand, relax. Accuracy over speed. Yes! Well, do not lose it. Boy? I found it! Please hurry! Atreus! He's slowing down! Wait for me, boy! Andreas! What did you do? I'm sorry! Andreas! We didn't know he belonged to anyone. He doesn't. He's my friend. The boy was following my command. Then help fix this. Hold here, please. Hold, I said. He's losing blood. The last of his kind in all the realm, and you shoot him. You needed food? Target practice. Target practice. I'm... I'm so, so sorry. Keep that pressure on. The blame is mine. I should have kept a closer eye. Will he die? I will not let him. You. The arrow cut a tight way inside him. Find both ends and hold them tightly. Start with the left side. Grab it and hold. Now the right side. Hold it tight. Good. Now pull them together. Line them up. So now. Focus. You're a witch. I can't finish the healing here. My home is just beyond the trees there. You will carry him. He must not die. Good. He seems stable and calm for now. That bow's a little big for you, isn't it? My mother made it for me. She said I'd grow into it. I've never seen you in these woods. She must miss you being away from home. She... She's dead. We're taking her ashes to the highest peak in the realms. Ashes? It was her last wish. Boy. I'm... Sorry for your loss. We're here. You live in a tree? Not in it. Below it. Hemile! Look! It's all right. Is he friendly? Boy. I promise you, he's safe. You won't hurt him.
a new one. You live alone? It's better this way. Yeah, my father doesn't like people either. Boy. Well, you don't. Hold him still before he hurts himself. Good. Easy. Rest now. I need two more things. Fresh red root growth just behind the house. Can you pull a cluster? What else? I... I know you're a god. Not of this realm, but there's no mistaking it. He doesn't know, does he? About your true nature? Or his own? That is none of your concern. The gods of these realms don't take kindly to outsiders, trust me. I know. When they find you, and they will, they'll make things difficult. The boy will want answers. That will be my problem. Whatever you're hiding, you cannot protect him forever. But you're right. Doesn't concern me. I also need lamb's crest. Do you mind? a white petal flower in my garden? Just a handful. Fine. Lamb's Chris. <sighs> Would this help? I dropped it? When you were chasing the animal. What's wrong with me? If I... If I lost it then... You did lose it. I'll take better care of it from now on. Leaving. Wait. Not without thanks. You want solitude? This mark will hide you from those who might make your journey difficult. Then head towards daylight. Will we see you again? As much or as little as you like. Now get out of here. Come, boy. It reads... Sacrifice your arms to the center of the water. Awaken again the cradle of the world. What? Throw our weapons into the water? Guess that won't be a problem for you. 
Are you gonna do it? wasn't there before, see? And there's the mountain. Look it, that building leads from the foot of the mountain to that golden temple. It was all just under the surface. Except for the statue. Good thing, huh? There's even a dock. There, next to the flag. Catch! The pile of rocks there? With that key of Yggdrasil? You can open a magic door to the branches of the World Tree. A shortcut between the realms. If you ever see a mountain in the world, use it to get back to me quick. But it's only one way. Straight back here and nowhere else. And whatever you do, never, never, ever, never, ever throw yourself over the edge of the path. Lest you want death. Yeah, I don't see us wanting that. Whoa. Sure is foggy here. Another door. Should we... No. He is of no consequence. Uh, excuse me, but, um, how did you come by that, uh, axe? That is my concern alone. And, uh, while I won't dispute that, I, I know that blade. It was one of ours, but, uh, <laughs> we didn't make it for you. Step aside. I can't. See, the woman we made it for, I was, uh, well, I am quite fond of her, and I would be somewhat displeased if it turns out that <clears throat> you did something to her. It was my mother's. She left its father before she died. Face dead? I'm very, very sorry to hear that. She was a fierce warrior. And a good woman. Okay. I will make improvements to the axe. But nobody asked you to. Well, it's, it's true, but... But knowing your mother, she would have insisted I repair that act of vandalism perpetrated against her axe by my brother. I knew it. You are Brock's brother. The other half of the brand's here. The blue one is your brother. Yes. Though my talents are vastly superior. 
No boast. I swear to Freya. <gasps> Do not undo his work. Improve upon it only. Yeah, but can you can you put it down over there? That handle is no. Filthy. Okay then. I'll just I will just Oh. 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 Oh, is that dried blood? Oh. So, what were you working on? Oh, that. I call it the Sky Mover. Just up that mountain waits a treasure trove of rare resources. Once I mine it, I'll need a way to bring it all down. And you know how to fix it? Not even a little. I can see why Mom wanted us to bring her here. Indeed. Is that... smoke? Stay back, boy. Ugh. What is that? We must find another way up. The witch! Wish she was here. Bet she could get us past this. My magic is useless against the Black Breath, and there's no way around it. Odin saw to that long ago. What are you doing here? Making sure you can finish your journey. Why wait to warn us? I was busy, saving my friend, if you remember. The Black Breath is a corruption of magic even I can't dispel. 
Only the pure light of Alfheim is strong enough to break through. But that road is long. What does this goal mean to you? It's everything. Follow me. Why help us? Maybe I see more of myself in you than I'm willing to admit. Maybe. Maybe by helping you, I'll make up for a lifetime of mistakes. Or maybe I just like you. Even though we shot your friend? Even though you shot my friend, yes. Where must we go? To a realm beyond your own. We're going to another realm? Are you coming with us? Only for a little while. Only for a little while. We'll use this. Graythar. Can't. Sindri said it was broken. Sindri? The dwarf at the foot of these hills. He was fixing it when we got here. Well, no one was there when I passed by. Perhaps he finished. Dwarves are awfully resourceful. And irritating, based on the two we have met. <laughs> that too. Just give that a turn. There. Tyr's temple is at the center of the lake. It is from there we travel to Alfheim. Thankfully, it's no longer underwater. Why is that creature in the bay? No one knows. He just appeared one day. Soon after, Thor attacked, and their battle could be felt across all the realms. Ultimately, it ended in a stalemate, and Thor returned to Odin empty-handed. The serpent stayed and grew so large, he now spans all of Midgard. See? Told you. They've hated each other ever since. Destined to kill each other, come Ragnarok. You believe in Ragnarok? I dearly wish I didn't, child. You know, we actually talked to the World Serpent. You did? An exaggeration. I'm good with languages, even ones I've never heard before. But when he talks, I can't understand any of it. Sadly, no one can. He speaks a dead tongue. Oh. Must be lonely. Watch your step. Just along here. Are you sure? We came through here before and there's no way back to talk. See? Is that so? Let me show you something. Are you watching? Diosa. What? It's solid. Elven architecture. My bowstring was soaked in the light of Alfheim. It can now reawaken the magic of the elves. Wait, it won't just disappear, will it? Not as long as the light shines free. This way. I want one. Those roots. What kind of magic is that? It's Vanir. From Vanaheim? You know of it? Just stories. Mother didn't say much about the Vanir gods. Just that they're always at war with the Aesir. As compared to Odin and Thor, they're the good guys. There are no good gods, boy. Thought I taught you that. Tyr's Temple. Built with help from the giants, Great Tyr used it to travel the Nine Realms and keep the peace between them. Doesn't seem very peaceful. Everywhere we go, we're attacked. Especially by dead things. The risen dead grow ever more numerous. Once the roads and trails would have been full of people. Now all have hid or fled, save for the Reavers, savage enough to survive in such a world.
Make a ride at the bottom of these stairs. Hey, another one of those light crystals. Wait there while I reawaken the light. Ryota. That did it. What are we doing exactly? Mending the disrepair. Start by lifting that axle. Good. Now push it back into place. Now realign the wheel onto the track. Perfect. Now push the bridge along the track. What? The whole entire bridge is turning. How is the whole entire bridge turning? Boy, you're really strong. Just keep pushing until the bridge reaches its first position. Tired yet? No. He's always been really strong. So about the dead. We heard someone call them Hellwalkers. But what are they? They are poor, restless souls denied their judgment and their peace. Why what? Did Vanier magic raise the dead? It could, once, but this is no spell. This plague of dead is but a symptom of a world out of balance. Something or someone has meddled with powerful forces. That is all I know for sure. That's perfect. Come back up, we're ready now. That was impressive. You didn't hurt your back, did you? I did not hurt my back. Through these doors. Wait, so did the giants or the elves build tier stuff? All the races helped with its construction. It was the last great act of cooperation between the realms before peace disappeared for good. Leota. Your bowstring stopped glowing. Its power is now depleted. Only a few knocks of magic remained in the bowstring, and we used them. Your bow, please. Once you claim the light of Alfheim, infuse the bowstring with its power. Don't forget. Talk like you're not coming with us. I'll try, but measures were taken to keep me trapped in Midgard. Why? The gods don't care for me much. Is this it? It's so dark. This temple has been asleep, underwater for almost 150 winters. It needs only the light of the Bifrost to reawaken. Those roots don't look like your magic. They aren't. These roots are part of the Great World Tree, and make travel between the realms possible. Approach the table. How does it work? You will need this, a Bifrost, to create travel between realms. It can capture, hold, and transfer the light of Alfheim. Place the Bifrost there. What now? Give it a moment. The temple needs time to wake up from its long slumber. It is from this room, and this room alone, that you will be able to cross between realms. What you see before you represents the temple in which we stand, as well as the realm towers that encircle the Lake of Nine outside. All the realms exist in the same physical space, reflections of each other.
these doors, the towers outside, and the nine realms are all intertwined and coexisting on the branches of the World Tree, separated only by the Bifrost Light of Alfheim. This place can focus and control that light. And is this the World Tree? Only an artistic representation of it. No, the Yggdrasil is much, much more than this. The Tree of Life is bound to the fate of the world, just as we are bound to it. The tree nourishes our soils. The dew from its leaves feeds our valleys and rivers. The tree's very existence supports all of creation along its boughs. Its life energy interwoven into the tapestry of life. Birth, growth, death, and rebirth. Every strand transcending time, transcending space. Everything comes back to the tree. So. That's how it works. But I'm guessing you were looking for a more practical answer. Yes. Very well. The bridge you pushed outside is currently positioned to lead to the realm of Vanaheim. Instead, turn the wheel to our actual destination, Alfheim. Wait, is this moving the big bridge outside? Yes, the wheel turns the bridge, and the bridge aligns to the different realm towers on the lake outside. Wait, there's no tower on this one. And that's why realm travel to Jotunheim is impossible. Without a tower for the bridge to lock into, the sequence can't begin. Every realm has a travel room that unlocks the bridge to that realm. I'm giving you the one for Alfheim. Now you can lock in your destination. We're ready. Remember to take the Bifrost. You don't want to lose that. Now the realm travel bridge will align and the realm between realms will open. See that giant crystal? Each realm has a corresponding one that focuses and amplifies the power of the Bifrost, opening the bridge to that realm. That's why realm travel is only possible from this room. What about that one realm tower missing from the lake? The Jotunheim Tower disappeared from all realms over a hundred winters ago, when the giants vanished from Midgard. Where the tower went and how they moved it remain a mystery. It didn't work. We're still here. Follow me. The Bifrost is dark. This trip was its last use. There's no going back until it's replenished with the light of Alfheim. So we are trapped. Someone of your ability should have little trouble getting back to Midgard. And we'll be able to make that black breath go away? With the captured light of Alfheim, yes. Welcome to Alfheim, gentlemen. Think you can spot... The light. I can barely see it. Something's wrong. See that column of light on the horizon? It's housed in the heart of a ring temple. We'll find what we need there. No. No, no, no. Damn it, not yet. What's happening? <gasps> to restore the Bifrost magic, you must step into the light. But be very careful not to get caught. She's not dead. Is she? Not likely. Come. Look at this place. Stay by me. Touch nothing. Okay. What is that? <laughs> I think you killed it. Look up there. Whoa, what's that about? Not our concern, boy. Focus. They keep murdering the White Elves. It is war. The end of one. The rogue one's lost. Did you say something? No. Oh, okay. At least we're getting closer to the light.
What'd you say? I said nothing. Really? Okay. Did your mother speak of this realm? Not much. Just that since the elves were always fighting over the life, he kept them isolated. Huh? Again, I said nothing. Weird. Could have sworn you said something. What is it, boy? Oh. Voices! You don't hear that? I hear nothing. It's going away now. It was screaming. Lots of voices. Angry. You really didn't hear that? No. It felt... evil. talking to them? No. But maybe they need help. They do not stop us, so they do not concern us. But they maybe... do not concern us. Look at that. That must be the Ring Temple. Sad the elves can't work things out. I don't find such a beautiful place, but war makes it up. The blue door! That's gotta be the entrance. Let's go! Careful, boy. What are they doing? The bridge is gone. They covered the crystal with that stuff. Why? To prevent reinforcements. <laughs> Okay, so that did something, I think. What is their problem with us? We do not belong here. Wait, combined together like that, they kind of look like a room. It doesn't make sense. Come, back to the boat. It's sad the elves can't work things out. I don't find such a beautiful place, but war makes it ugly. You see with the eyes of a child. In war, a soldier sees beauty only in the blood of his enemy. The rest of him is lost. Sometimes never to return. You know about war, don't you? Enough. Stories are for the boat. Father, the pillars and ring form an elvish rune. What does it ask? Without me or within me, death is sure. Yet within you, I am life most pure. Yep, it's water, all right. Boy! It was the voices again, but different voices, less angry. They were asking for help. We are here for the light. I do not care who they are, nor what they want. You never care about anything. You have something to say? No. Ruler. What's happening? Whoa! Look what we found! Father? Yes? The voices I heard. It was hard to make out, but way in the back I'm pretty sure I heard. Mother. That is not possible. But I know what I heard. Atreus, enough. He looks different. Look at those horns. Behind me, boy.
You were wrong back there. Oh. I know Mother's voice better than anyone. It was her. She is gone, boy. Speak no more of this. Fine. Which is okay? I'd hate to think she died helping us. She knew what she was doing. Okay. You're freezing at first! Smart! That did it! You brought the main bridge back! We must find a way up. I will never get used to walking on solid light. The door. There's no seam. What? We have a problem. I don't think we're supposed to be in here. Quiet. Side. Hey, when we make it to the light, how do you think we get it into the Bifrost? The witch said to step into it. She did? When she was ripped away from this realm. Oh, how did I miss that? You were more concerned with her safety than our goal. <laughs> Quiet! I have it. Your knife boy. Here they come! 
Stay behind me and protect our flank. Yes, sir! Booyah! as a last resort. You're giving me your axe? I am letting you hold my axe. It is not a gift. Still. what he thinks I am. I know better. He doesn't talk to me. Doesn't teach me. It should have been him. Do you hear me? Him, not you. Except, I don't mean that. You know I love him. I just wish he was better. I know he can be. So if he tries, I'll try. But if he doesn't, please come back. I know you're out there somewhere.
What have you done? Why did you do that? I saved you! You are trapped in there! I waited and I waited, but you wouldn't come out! So I pulled you out! Boy! Moments. No! You've been gone a long, <coughs> long time! I didn't know what to do! You left me here! Again! <coughs> Why don't you care? I... That's impossible. We should go before they come back. I hope you got what you needed. Yes. Look, there's our exit. But there's no light to make a bridge. We're trapped, and the witch's bowstring is useless. Boy, your bow. Hold it out. Gotta go back down here again? Do you see any other way? No. Then. Carrying the crystal everywhere like the last one? If need be. smug and say you told me we shouldn't get involved. That is enough. Can we go now? Do you remember the answer? Yeah, yeah. Boy, read this. Boy, what's that say? Only time you want to talk to me is when you need to. Do you want to tell me something? I said, the only time you care to talk to me is when you need me to translate for you. If mom was if here... If your mother was still alive, we would not be here at all. Atreus. Forget it. Bye.
soap. Will she know it? Who? You know. Oh, she was not there. Not like you would even care if she was. Mind your tongue, boy! Until our journey is over, one of us must remain focused. Do not mistake my silence for lack of grief. Mourn how you wish. Leave me to my own. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. No. Why would you? Do not know my ways. I know it has not been easy. In the light, I felt only moments pass. If that is of some comfort to you. That's good to know. Really? So, should we go back to Midgard? Face the Black Breath? Or do you think there's more to see in this realm? What else were you going to tell me about war? Wars are fought for two things. Survival or advantage. Battles may be won by the better soldier. Wars are won by those who are willing to sacrifice everything to ensure victory. from another realm. And we met your brother. Wait, not that order. Did you let that seed saw put hand to your blade? Hmm? You do know he lost his talent, right? Just up and left him one day. Tried taking me down with him. Hmm. Did he botch up on a girl? Quite the opposite. Yeah, even a blind pig farts up a truffle now and again. But you know what really counts? Consistency. And I got that coming out of all of my parts. What did you do? It's better. Got time for a favor? Do you remember the way back to the Black Breath? Of course. We need to walk across the bridge to the Vanaheim Tower. Father, do you... Do you think I could carry her now? No. But I... I said no. Okay. So who do you think carved the face in the mountain? You would know better than I. Thanks. Now watch our step. Carelessness will only delay us. Right. Well, there's the Black Breath again. What do we do now? We see if the witch was right. It's working! She was right! Come, let us finish this.
Is it the answer? Freedom. Sure, that works. Go ahead. Sure. Ross. What you doing? Oh, thought maybe there'd be a bridge. Your giants need to test us further. These passages seem too small for giants. Why do you laugh? Oh, you're serious. I am always serious. I forget. Mom always said you never took an interest in history. Giants are just a race, like elves and hold your folk. It doesn't mean they're big. What of the world serpent? Okay, in that case, giant also means big. But there's only one of them. Uh, this is a lot of bodies. Tell me what you see. Well, they look like men, not giants. Correct. Be you seeking treasure? See the traps? Oh yeah. Lucky for us, they set them all off. Be grateful these stay dead. We made it across! Wait! That one's not broken! There's a note. A giant's prayer. They're asking their ancestors to watch over them. To guide them home. Boy. Wait. I think I know how it works. Watch. Wow. What did you write? I asked them to watch over mother. Do you think they'll watch over us on the way to the top? Summit. How far do you think we'll be able to see? The lake? The world serpent? Our house? We will see when we get there. Until then, eyes open. Scatter mother's ashes. What then? What comes next? Nothing comes next. We go home. That's it? The adventure is over? For now. But we will have much to do. You were right earlier on the boat after cutting down the last tree. You said it felt like something had changed. And it has. And our home is no longer safe. But it will be again. And we must continue your training. Okay. We're almost at the summit. Nothing's gonna stop us. Calm yourself, boy, and stay behind me.
Phew. That was intense. Wait, boy. It's Sindri. Can you kill something that big? If we can catch it off balance. I can distract him. What are you doing? We have to help him. Break right. Find an angle. Wait for my mark. Thank you. Hey, Oakley! Over here! You okay? did it. And you! Ah! But, 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 nobody's killed a dragon for hundreds of years. Not since the grand culling of the worms. And unless I'm mistaken, you did all that for me. You are mistaken. The dragon was simply in our path, nothing more. You deny it all you want, but you saved me, and that deserves compensation. What are these? Rated mistletoe arrows. Straighter than Heimdall and perfectly weighted. Um... Thanks? 
Oh. Okay. Hold on. Uh, ooh, not that. Um, have you seen my brother again? Yeah. He said you lost your talent. <laughs> oh, and that I'm selfish. No. I'm sure. That I value a weapon's look. No. Over its purpose. That I'm pretentious. No. And I'm tight. Fussy. I know what he thinks, but he can't hurt me any- Ah! Burn that. I do not have time for this. No. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. I have a better idea. What? I just need a tooth from that dragon. Watch where you grab that. Oh, ah, never mind. Oh, so unclean. Oh, so so unclean. Oh, oh, the smell. Perfect. That should do. Oh. Yeah. I am not touching that. Just hold it out. Mm -hmm. Now, run that along the string of your son's bow. Just humor me. Atreus, your bow. Two passes should do it. Ah, gently, now. Whoa, you can hold it. Stop. Broken quiver will slow your draw. Pain we endure. Faulty weaponry we do not. This will do for now. Good? Good. Hmm. Go. Steady, boy. Mind your footing. Focus up, boy! You hear those voices too, right? Yes. Be silent. Well then, you know why we're here. The last thing you managed to loosen your tongue. That sounds like the same man who came to our house. You said you killed him. Shh. So you've not company this time. Must be important that the sons of Thor deign to grace me with their presence. Tell me, you two still tripping over yourselves to impress Daddy? The tattooed man. Tracks show he now travels with a child. Where would they go next? Why would I know that? You're the smartest man alive, aren't you? Smarter than all the dead ones, too. You help me, I help you. Tell me where they are, and I'll talk to Odin. Your father won't let me go, Baldur, and he won't let you kill me. You have nothing to offer me, so take your questions, take your threats, take these two worthless wankers, and piss off! When no one's looking, we'll be back for your other eye. Don't you forget, we're everywhere. We really are, aren't we? Ah, the very topic of conversation. A tattooed man traveling with a child. Boy, check their path. Make sure we're alone. But we just saw them leave. Do as I say. 
He doesn't know what you are. I would keep it that way. Who are you? Me? I'm the greatest ambassador to thy gods, the giants, and all the creatures of the Nine Realms. I know every corner of these lands, every language spoken, every war waged, every deal struck. They call me Mimir, smartest man alive. And I have the answer to your every question. Why does the son of Odin hunt us? Okay, there are a few gaps in my knowledge. But Odin's had me imprisoned here for 109 winters. I'm a clever lad. I can piece it together. I promise. Just given time. Nobody there. Just like I said. The boy's mother is dead. She wished her. She wanted us to spread her ashes on the highest peak in all the realms. Oh, then you've come to the wrong place, little brother. The highest peak in all the realms is not here in Midgard. It's in Jotunheim, realm of the giants. No! That could not be what she meant. Take a look. This is the last known bridge to Jotunheim in all the realms. See that mountain? Looks like a giant's finger scraping the sky. That's the highest peak in all the realms. No here. Can't we just take that bridge? We have a Bifrost. When the giants destroyed all other bridges to their realm, they locked this one up with a secret rune. If it still exists, only a giant would know it. And all of them left Midgard a long time ago. True. But today, the winds of fate have kicked up a strange vortex of coincidence. Fact is, there's only one person alive who can get you where you need to go. And luckily for you, my schedule's wide open. We're going to Jodenheim, right? It's your best and only move from a tactical standpoint. It's the one place the man who cannot be killed won't follow you. What do we do? Yes! First, you need to cut off my head. Wait, what? And Odin made sure that no weapon, not even Thor's hammer, could free my body through these bonds. But fortunately, you don't need my body. The trick is, we need to find someone who can reanimate my head using the old magic. Old magic? Mm. There's a witch of the woods. She knows the old ways. And she'll help. She might do worth a try. But if she fails, he will be dead. He tortures me, you know. Every day, brother. Odin himself sees to it personally, and believe me, there is no end to his creativity. Every single day. This... This isn't living. Very well. Oh, I can't watch this. Brother. In case you can't resurrect me, there's something you need to know. Boy, the longer you wait to tell him his true nature, the more damage you do. He will resent you, and you may lose him forever. There's much about me I would not have him know. Huh? So you value your privacy more than your son? I'm going to cut off your head now. Fair enough. find the long-lost realm of the giants. That's... that's... Inconvenient. Yeah, that's just what I was going to say. Do you remember the way to the witch's house? Yes. The woods with the blood red leaves. South of the lake. I know just where to go. I can't believe it was Balder that came to our house. The Aesir god. Balder! And you fought him, and won! Yes. One of Odin's sons, Thor's brother. And now he's hunting us with his nephews. Why is this happening? If we can raise the head, you can ask him. Okay. Rock! 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 What? I'm on a fucking break. Don't hear me screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies. 
Leave him, boy. No, Pat. Well, you already soiled my solitude, so you may as well join me. You're not hungry. Good. It's not what I was offering. Saw your brother again. Congratulations. And I'm sure you'll let him go and roger my axe good and plenty again. Hmm? Let's see the damage. Tanker throat wouldn't know proper weight and balance if it were dangling off his chut. Do you eat him well enough? I guess. Good. All better. Now what the fuck else you want, huh? I know she's really powerful, but you really think the witch can bring a head back to life? She seems competent in her craft, and we have nothing to lose. If she can't bring it back to life, can we keep the head? No, but you may feed it to the fish. Okay. How's it going, Charlie? Is your witch friend here? What is that name? That's what he told me it was, or what it sounded like in my head anyway. Charlie. Father, she is here! It is so good to see you again! I knew you weren't dead. <laughs> Hello. Oh, can you bring a head back to life? Uh, I'm not sure I understand what... Wait, where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me, now! They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous. They're wicked. You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Do you understand? Say it! I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. What's this about a head? Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request. He claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Please? Take him to the table. Pamela! It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well, thankfully his head hasn't decayed much and his brain is still intact. Nice clean cut. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now, hold his head under the water and don't let go. I mean it. That's enough. It worked! Let me see him. Mamir? You there? Yes. Good. Oh. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. You look well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. Forgive me. Had I known the Witch in the Woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either. Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are God. Leader of the Vanir once, yes. But no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? We are leaving, boy. But... Now! 
You're welcome. To the horn. That statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world suffering absolutely abhors the fat dauber. He was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is your name. All right, wish me luck. saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is, and it's not far. He looked kind of mad for a moment. Ah, that? I thought I said you were friends of Odin. Oh, forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so it sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh, it doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <laughs> you let him touch this again. <laughs> Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water dropped. He stepped between realms. Okay now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. I'm 
So, this plan of yours. Can you guess it? Knowing you, it doesn't involve standing around here. Correct. Trust me. Ready. Dig in and push with everything. Yes, sir. Ah, the great dining hall. Envy of all Midgard. Funny. I remember there being a massive candelabrum. Really livened up the place. You just can't help but break things, can you? Something ahead. See, lad? He's fine. Thought it best to vanish when Thor's idiot sons showed up. You boys look like you're gearing up for quite the journey. Would you focus on your damn job and quit that shit? You quit that shit. I mean it. He went to war with Uncle Ed and walked away. Maybe. Uncle hasn't been straight in years. But as long as father believes him, so do we. So you will stop talking. Focus and help me find them. Mm, can't disappoint father. Hurry, brother. Oh, we may get a boy. piece of the chisel and be gone before they even notice. Uh oh. Yeah. Boy. Surrender. The old father demands it. No. <sighs> This fight is mine, boy. Go! And where do you think you're going? Oh no, brother. The little freak's got a bow. What are we gonna do? <laughs> Small one's yours, brother. Don't tell me what to do. Stay behind me, boy. Why do you hunt us? What does Odin want? Oh no, don't care. Come here, Hathor. You don't want daddy's hand. Shut up! Don't call me that! Can't believe you've laughed. Shut up! Calm yourself, boy. Looks like they need another lesson. More than that, we teach Did you? you have no idea. 
Sick, he needs Freya. No! Steady. I'll be alright. There you go, lad. <clears throat> I'm fine, see? We should keep an eye on him. Here's Vault. Another one of these. It's Tyr, but the middle panel is missing. Wait, I thought Tyr was a god, not a giant. Ah, but he was loved by everyone, including the giants. Other than me, he was the only one they gifted with their special sight. Go ahead. Actually, come look. Let me show you how to read this. That is not necessary. You've taught me so much. Let me teach you something. Atreus. Come on. You already speak it. Learning to read won't be that hard. I know how to read, boy. Just not this tongue. You're halfway there already, then. Okay. So the runes represent a lot of different things. Some gods. Some animals. Wait. Some... Oh, am I going too fast? Sorry, Not I'll... that. Do you smell something? Yeah, I do. Smells like... Rain? You ruined everything! I earned that fucking hammer! But now, everyone's gonna think I only got it. Cause Maggie's gone. What be a joke! Or if I kill you, no one's gonna laugh at me. Dumb. Now your father's doing, or did you get it from your mum? She's stupid and ugly. Shut up! <laughs> you don't know anything about my mother. Oh, it's true. But I'm gonna get to know you really well. You're gonna be my new brother. Right after I finish killing your father! <laughs> Whoops! I think I broke him! <laughs> To get into Freya quickly. There's no other way.
just called the Serpent. Freya! Open the door! We need your help! Woman, do you hear me? It is urgent! I'm still a god! Go away! The boy has fallen ill! Freya! Inside. This is no ordinary illness. The boy's true nature, your true nature, fights within him. I did this to him. Will you help me? Of course. There is a rare ingredient found only in Helheim. The keeper that protects the Bridge of the Damned. I need its heart. Mm. Hell. The Realm of the Dead. Do you know it? Not this one. It is a land of unyielding cold. Fires cannot burn there, and no magic in all the Nine Realms can create a blaze. As for the dead, your Frost Axe will be useless. You'll need to find something else. Then I must return home. Dig up a past I swore would stay buried. Who you were before doesn't matter. This boy is not your past, he is your son. And he needs his father. This rune opens the bridge to Helheim. When you are there, do not under any circumstances cross the Bridge of the Damned. There is no road back. Understand? Boy. Hey, Mille. You must hurry. Through my garden, there's a path leading to my boat. Take it. Return home. Dig up your past. Do whatever you need to do. Just bring me back the Bridge Keeper's heart, and your son may survive. Last we spoke, I was... No. You were right to distrust the word of a god. No need to explain. Not to me, not for that. I will keep him safe. That's a mother's promise. Helheim of all places. You all right, brother? I will do what I must. Leave me be.
There's nowhere you can hide, Spartan. Put as much distance between you and the truth as you want. It changes nothing. Pretend to be everything you are not. Teacher. Husband. Father. But there is one unavoidable truth you will never escape. You cannot change. You will always be... a monster. I know. But I am your monster no longer. Sweet Nana's nethers. What are those? I've never seen the like. That's gotta be a family heirloom. No. Nor will it ever be. Son. My brother and me created me all near for the big idiot. I know from quality. And them? Them special. Hey, where's the little turd? He has fallen ill. No. What happened? Aesir? No. The fault is mine. And my responsibility to make it right. Now, we all got to take responsibility sometime, huh? Say, what can I do to help? I can do things. When I should tag along? No. Your work here is enough. All right. So where are you off to in such a hurry? The realm of the dead. Helheim? Shit, this is serious. I'll be watching your back. Let me take this moment to tell you that what you are about to do is absolutely insane. Not even Odin can survive this cold. So, the Bridge of the Damned. And there's the Keeper, making sure the dead are really dead. What is that he holds? That totem contains a powerful source of magical energy, the very power of Helheim itself. But what you want is his heart. Just take it and we can leave. How? Start some trouble. You can do that, right? Dirty.
have the heart. I need nothing more. You're set. Try not to linger here, though, eh? Kratos. Zeus. Zeus? My father. Your father was Zeus? Well, that explains a lot. What is that place? Never go there. Understand? How is he here? That is not possible. It's just an illusion. Hell's known for torturing its inhabitants with their own past. We should focus on getting back to your son. The heart. You have it. Yes. Back of your hand. He is still ill. I can break the fever, but to heal... He must know the truth of what he is. Yes. It is not so simple. Help me prop him up. Did I tell you that I have a son, too? It's been... forever since I last saw him. At his birth, the runes foretold a needless death. The babe in my arms was so... small. So helpless. I knew right then I would do anything to protect him. No matter the sacrifice. Of course, everything I did, I did for myself. I let my needs, my fears, come before what he needed. And I couldn't see his resentment until it was too late. Don't make the same mistake. Have faith in him. I know the truth isn't simple, but nothing is when it involves your child. is a curse. The boy has been cursed. Don't leave without me. I will not. I'm better now. I see that. Is he well enough to travel? For now. They won't happen again. I promise. You see that it does not. Forget this. Thanks. Your father did the heavy lifting. You should stay, recover. You have done enough. You know my door is always open to you. That's Venon, isn't it? You figured that out, did you? Well, the window looks like Bifrost Crystal, and I know that's not what's on the other side of the wall. And, well, it makes you sad. You are wise for one so young. Yes, this is a window to a home I left long ago, but it is only a few. The thing that happened to you in Alphon, you can't leave Midgard, can you? 
A gift from my former husband upon our separation. Why would Odin trap you in Midgard? Petty cruelty would be reason enough for him. But as with all his rash decisions, he's driven by fear. The Vanir were the greatest threat to the Aesir until our marriage brokered peace. Many of the Vanir now think I betrayed them. The fruits of my sacrifice. To be hated by my own kind. To trap me here is to ensure I can never make it right. Um, so I was wondering, why do you live under a turtle? <laughs> he was my first friend here in Midgard. He offered me shelter, and in return I provide him with protection against the evils of the forest. Golden boar, giant turtle? You sure have some interesting friends. Now then, before Modi so rudely interrupted us, we were just about to explore Tyr's vault. Yes, to find the Black Rune. Boy, do you know the way from here? Oh, I don't know. Sure you do, lad. We need a boat. I don't know. I guess we need a boat. Okay then. Ah, see? The boat washed ashore. Someone did call a serpent earlier. Get in. I will pull. You are quiet. Are you not better? I guess. I know you overheard my talk with Freya. You think you understand, but you do not. Why do you say nothing? You said I was cursed. You think I'm weak because I'm not like you. I know I was never what you wanted. But after all this, I thought maybe things were different. You do not know everything, boy. No. But at least I know the truth now. The truth? The truth. I am a god, boy. From another land far from here. When I came to these shores, I chose to live as a man. But the truth is... I was born a god. And so were you. Boy, have you nothing to say? Um, can I turn into an animal? Can you turn into an animal? No. No, I do not think so. I'm a god. Mother now? She was a god too? No. She was mortal, but she knew my true nature. I'm a god. Why did you wait so long to tell me? I had hoped to spare you. Being a god, it can be a lifetime of anguish and tragedy. That is the curse. What sorts of things can I do? Can I fly? Or turn invisible? I don't feel like God. I do not know the reach of your godhood. But over time, we will learn. Oh, I like that one. I wonder if I wrote it. Is that the answer there? It says Earth. 
Hmm, swallows death, brings forth life. Go. Yeah. I wish I'd known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. Well, I'm not sure that's the lesson. We've done nothing to regret. The elves forced their affairs upon us. No, I get it now. We had god things to do, and they were in the way. Dragging us into their little problems. Again, are we just leaving that there? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Maybe you feel a little too good right now. With power comes a big choice, lad. You can either serve yourself or put your godhood in the service of others, like Tyr did. People really loved him, huh? Aye. A god of war, but one who fought for peace. Had a reputation for being heroic and lawful. Using his power and knowledge to stop wars, rather than start them. So there are good gods. Once in a moon, it's been known to happen, yes. Tia believed the mind, not might, was key to preventing war and chaos. And he also knew visiting other cultures would give him perspective staying in one place could not. While Odin always hoarded knowledge, guarding it jealously, Tia was open and sharing with his learning and his wisdom. For this, mortals adored Tia. Showing their love by bringing him gifts the world over. So, whatever happened to Tyr? Odin came to regard him as a threat to his rule. He suspected Tyr of collaborating to aid the giants instead of helping to steal their secrets for Asia. The same thing he accused me of, frankly. Though in Tyr's case, I believe he was right. You think Tyr was helping the giants? I do. He felt responsible for the suffering visited upon them by Odin. I suspect he had something to do with helping them cover their tracks. The missing Jotunheim town. Correct. Whatever happened to it, I believe it could only have been done with Tyr and the Giants working together. Where is the battle? No, I've never been in here. Naturally. Didn't think it would be that easy. No. I was kind of hoping, though. Ah, a ski and do from my homeland. Used to have one of my own back in the day. You should take it, boy. Yes, boy. Take it. We might need to butter bread somewhere in our travels. This is why no one likes you. Careful, brother. Leia's not here to bring you back if you're cutting too. forget why we are here. Okay.
Look, I just want to know the truth from you, okay? I don't care if it hurts me or not. I want to learn. Just because you hate being a god doesn't mean I have to. It's the wolf giants. Skull and Hati. That's right. The bringers of day and night. Ragnarok begins when they catch the sun and moon. Right? Did Tirnalin? I don't know. Like them well enough to cover a massive wall in his vault with them, though. Don't you enjoy it at all? Being a god? On an adventure in some amazing place? Maybe Mother wanted us to have a little fun. Everything we've seen and done. Maybe it was her gift. The road stuff! It's lower! Ah. What's going on? Crap! Father! Boy! Get out of here! I'm fine! How do we get you out? Gold chains on the wall! But There are three of them! What do I do? Atreus, focus! You can do this! Please hurry! I don't know yet if I can drown! Okay, think. Hati's the silver one. He hunts them. Skull's gold and he chases the sun. For Ragnarok to happen, they have to eat them. These are out of order. Good boy. So the moon goes on the left, sun on the right. With Midgard in the middle, but which bar do I pull? Right! Middle! Quickly! The left! That's something. See what tears got for us. No, raised protection. It rubbed off. What should we do? We keep going. There it is. We've got it. Boy. Yeah. On the day you were born, I made two knives, mixing metals from my home and from this land. One for myself, and when you were ready, one for you. Today is that day. So I'm a man now, like you? No. We are not men. We are more than that. The responsibility is far greater. And you must be better than me. Understand? Say it. Are you 
you will be better. The power of this weapon, any weapon, comes from here. But only when tempered by this, by the discipline, the self-control of the one who wields it. That is where the true strength of a warrior lies. You must never forget that. Good then. Come. for us gods. I have beaten bigger. <laughs> Puny troll. Yeah. I'm turned around. Which way is the sandball back up? Yurith. to the end. Eggs. Is it still good? Possibly. Father, why did you leave your home and come here? Does it have to do with the other gods there? Hmm. It's just, you hate the gods so much. But Tyr proves that gods can be good. And you're good. You only killed those deserving, right? Yes. Ah. But who's worthy enough to judge? Quiet, Head. We are. We know better. Uh huh. Sounding more like your da by the moment. Ready. Ready. Come. So what? Excited to finally see the land of the giants? Yeah, but also sad the journey's almost over. Oh, what if we get to Jotunheim and there aren't any giants there either? Makes little difference to us. Fulfilling your mother's wish is what is important. Ah! Oh, don't go anywhere. Be with you in two shakes. Father, can I tell him? No. Tell me what? 
Did you put this wheel in your mouth? Oh god, I I'll vomit. I I'm not kidding, I'll throw up on it! It is nothing. A family matter. Oh! Uh, uh, oh! I can tell you a thing or two about family matters. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Let me guess. Your brother isn't as talented as you, and his work is junk. Um, those things are accurate. Your point? It's all you ever talk about, over and over. Do something about it or shut up or it. I see. Yeah! We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems! Um... All right. That hurt a little. Let's have a look at your gear then. Why did you speak to the dwarf like that? Aren't you sick of hearing about him and his brother? Of course. But it serves nothing to make an enemy of him. He should know the truth, even if it hurts. It was needless and unkind. Truth is more important than kindness. Your mother would disagree. She wasn't a god. Amir, if he knew all along that we were gods, I'd come up with the story about Odin trying to follow us to Jotunheim before we get there or whatever. Isn't it a lot simpler if they want us dead because we're gods? And they think we're a threat? I suppose we can't rule it out. But Odin's ways are subtle and his purposes oh. are... Enough about Odin and his whole stupid family. Whoa! I suppose that's Odin's doing too. Nice try. You and Mother always said all gods were evil. But we're not. Tyr wasn't. Freya neither. The Aesir gods, that's who's evil. And you know what? Odin's right. We are a threat, because we know what they are, and we know we can beat them. Well, not all of them. Not yet. Magni did his worst, and he's dead. They're no better than us, and they're going to be sorry they picked this fight. to Magni. My old father called me a cop. Looks like he did more than that. Move it, or we'll pick up where he left off. I'll kill you. No. He is beaten. Not worth killing. He should pay for what he said about Mother. I said, no. But we're gods. We can do whatever we want. <laughs> That's what I said to your mother, right before I gave it to her. What are you doing? This is a much better knife than Mother's. Haven't you been teaching me to kill? I have been teaching you to survive. We are gods, boy. And that makes us a target. From now until the end of days, you are marked. So I teach you to kill, yes. But in defense of yourself. Never as an indulgence. Nobody cared about him anyways. What's the difference? There are consequences to killing a god! Why? How do you know? How do you know? Watch your tone, boy. Whatever.
Carve along that. Wow. Yonan. We made it. Beautiful, isn't it? Why I remember once? Brother, look out! for you. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Let go! Calm down, boy. You are not ready for this. I am oh! ready. Come <laughs> on. 
activated the bridge! Hey! I asked you a question! <laughs> and when the bridge opens, the full weight of Ascot will come crashing down on you. <laughs> it's over, is it? So be it. Stay still! You will listen to me and not speak a word! I am your father, and you, boy, are not yourself. You are too quick to temper. You are rash, insubordinate, and out of control. This will not stand. You will honor your mother and abandon this path you have chosen. It is not too late. This discussion is far from over. We are here because of you, boy. Never forget that. Wow, it's cold. This is hell? Not just hell. Worst place in hell you could have put us. I see a ship. Get us there. It only takes us halfway to Tyr's temple. But at least it gets us far from here. For a thousand mortal lifetimes, the bridgekeeper kept the living out of this place. But now that you've ripped his heart out, here we are. Funny how it all comes around. It was me. But we're gods. We can do whatever we want. Turn away, boy. <laughs> That's what I said to your mother, right before I gave it to her. It wasn't me. I couldn't have done that. Do not dwell on those thoughts. Not here. Yeah. We must keep moving. Yeah. Wait. I think I see Balder up ahead. Listen. You, you had no right. I had every right. I am your mother. You had no right, witch. I can't taste. I can't smell. I can't even feel the temperature of this, this room. Feasting, drinking, women. It's all gone. But you will never God. have to feel pain again. Death has no power over you now. You would rather die? Than never feel again? Yes. Take it away, Mom. I can't. Please, please, please take it away. It doesn't work like that. <sighs> Trust me, in time, you will find me. You will find me. Come on. No. Yes. I won't. Come on! 
Is his mother. Why did you keep this from us, Head? Would you believe it slipped my mind? I would not. Uh, I'm at a loss. I assure you I've no reason to keep such a thing a secret. There's the boat. We will speak more of this soon. I'd recognize his atrocious taste anywhere. Look at that! It's the missing panel about here. Odin must have stolen it. But why? He always has his reasons. Might I have a look? Well, this is most unexpected. Why? What does it mean? I haven't the foggiest. Isn't that unexpected? Head. Look, clearly that's Tear. Traveling somehow. Perhaps magically. But what's that to do with the giants that they should devote a shrine to it? I'm afraid that is none too clear. What are those runes in the corners? Not runes. Symbols from different lands. They mean... War. Aye. How do you... This one I know too well. Oh. His eyes. They are jewels. Like yours. No doubt signifying the gift of sight the giants granted us. Give me a closer look. Interesting. What is that? Secret plans concealed by Tyr so none could access but him. And those few others the giants trusted. And right under Odin's nose, ho ho ho! I did promise I'd get you to Jotunheim. What do you mean, Head? You said we were out of options. Don't you see, brother? Odin never gave up hope, and neither should we. He knew there was a clue in here, but we're the ones who found it. These plans are for a key to some chamber Tears kept hidden. I don't know where it's leading or what we'll find, but it's a path. 
How do we make this key? I suggest we ask a dwarf. That symbol on the temple door. It's a bunch of runes together. Peace, unity, hope, other things too. Tears own design. He made this door himself. Boy. Before. When you. Saw. I didn't see anything. You did not see me with someone. An old man. What old man? Can we go? Yes. Very well. Right, let's get back to Midgard and see about making that key. Where's that dwarf? Bowhead. Why did you not tell us Balder is the son of Freya? He is! It's shocking every time I hear it, and yet obviously I know it. When I think about Balder and Freya... The mayor? Yes, lad. <laughs> Freya. How's that, brother? Fred, tell me Baldur's vulnerability. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Wait, what is happening? He is bewitched not to speak of what he knows. I am? I am! Oh, that's it precisely! I wonder how long that's been so. Since she had my head at her mercy, or back when I figured out Baldur's weakness. I'm here! Yes, lad. You just said you figured out Baldur's weakness. Did I? But Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. <sighs> Enough. This means there is a way. If he troubles us again, we will find it. Can you make it? Is it a weapon? Armor? Or likewise an instrument of war of which I'm a master at shaping? No? Then forget it. Even if I wanted to make such an insignificant goo-gaw, I'm liable to chink my tools working on something so delicate and ladylike. Then shingle it. Pattern weld the item with scap slag. Keep the layers thin. Alternate the overlay. Okay, smart guy. And where do you propose to find a lump of quality scap slag? Last time I saw one, I could still get rigid down south. Shut your mouth, is that? Where did you? I had to get my hands dirty. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't just stand there. Let's do this. What? You? You're fine with working on something that's not a weapon? Well, hell, why not? <laughs> what? I can grow too. Oh, what? Watch the spine. Keep your wrists loose. No, oh, you keep your wrist loose. Yeah, I need more heat here. Coming up. You gonna temper that steel longer? You don't need to. I triple quenched it with Trogdor. See, how inventive and sanitary. You clever little beaver. Never too late to learn a new trick, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. Here it is. Nope. Don't forget this. you grinning. It's downright unsettling. It's just nice to see you together. But now the rune on your brand looks different. Impressive, but reforging something what broke. I knew it. You two love each other. Oh, cut it out, Francis. You're gonna get me all weak. I like the new one better. Don't you? We have work to do. No. Tears ruin. This is it. We're inside. But what is this 
place. Your guess is as good as mine, little brother. An army of statues. I don't think they're the kind that come to life, if that's what you're worried about. Tyr often said that in the world of PC envisioned, the only soldiers he'd need would be statues. Bless his heart, but the bugger did take himself rather seriously, didn't he? Brothers, I know what I promised, but in case this doesn't work, just remember, Tyr had good cause to create these obstacles. He's kept Jotunheim out of Odin's reach, but the world is hardly at peace. No, but it's got hope. We're all working together now. We have unity. That's what the rune on the door to this place was telling us. We're on Tyr's path. Lift with your legs, brother. He knows. Just trying to be helpful. I'll be quite happy to be on your side, brother. And we're not dead. That's a plus. There, on the left. I think we can climb back up to the realm travel room from there. See that, Mimir? Nobody can do all this alone. All these obstacles. They're just chances to prove we're the ones who can beat them. We may argue. Me and Father. You and Freya. Brock and Sindri. But when we all work together, we do make a good team. And that's Tyr's test. That's why we're gonna make it to Odenheim. Do you hear that, brother? Lads found his equilibrium. What's that mean? He means you speak wisely, Atreus. And that is good to hear. I guess the temple was made to be flipped. Look, the tree's upside down. Or are we? I'm not sure anymore. Roy, your knife. Well, what have we got? Some sort of travel stone. Let me see. Great our dumbless of us. That's the Unity Stone. You know it. I wasn't sure it existed. If Tyr possessed this, that explains how he could visit all the realms and other lands to boot. He held this. In the panel in Odin's library. Yes. Yes, that's it. I understand now. It shows Tyr walking the realm between realms. You know how you must never stray from the path. Well, Tyr always followed his own path, if you catch my meaning. The realm between realms. You're saying Tyr Shrine showed him stepping off the branch of the World Tree. And you're thinking, to reach the secret path to Odinheim, that's what we need to do? I am. Oh dear. That is what you're thinking, isn't it? Yeah. I am more than okay with not throwing ourselves over the edge of the World Tree just yet. In due time, boy. Ah, uh, really?
If you're thinking about hurling us all into the void, I hope you're quite sure. Wasn't it your idea? Find our own path, right? Bollocks. This is where Tyr stepped beyond, and the Unity Stone protected him. Ready? Ready. Well, if this is it, lads, it's been an honor. Our faith head. This is incredible! Oh, how can I be so nauseous without a stomach? Come on. That was great! Look! The tower! I knew there was something down here! Amazing! How do you hide something that exists in all realms? Cast it out of any realm to the space between! Clever old tear. Is Jotunheim on the other side? Can't be that! It's not like you go through Vanaheim to reach the Midgard Peak. But how do we use it? I'd suggest we look inside, but stay alert. Tyr's little challenges are never as simple as they appear. I have noticed. Well, this is sparse. The pedestal. Absorbing the stone's energy. Something's happening. Is it moving? It's moving. It knows what to do. The stone served its purpose. We're fulfilling Tyr's spell. Look, we're back in Midgar. There's the bridge. We did it. The tower's back where it belongs. Now Tyr's travel room can take us to Jotunheim. How did Tyr do this? Odin suspected the giant secretly possessed some remnant of primordial Jotnar creative essence, the stuff all realms are made of. The Unity Stone must have been fashioned from that essence. To trust an outsider with it, even Tia, tells you just how desperate they were. I don't know what we'll find when we get to Jotunheim, but we must cover our tracks. Odin's ravens will tell him of the tower's restoration, and we mustn't let our efforts be to his benefit. Very well. to work. What? There's no travel crystal. Tyr must have used his own eyes to refract the energy. It was his final failsafe. You've got eyes like him, Amir. I've got an eye. One! Odin plucked out my other eye precisely to keep me from traveling. Sorry, lads. Thought that would work. What did Odin do with your other eye? He'd have kept it. Many of a hundred places, I'm afraid. We've come so far. There has to be a way. Look, a bit of a long shot. For years, I see Sindri, sometimes Brock, lurking around in that mountain when Odin came for his visits. Maybe they know something. Brock and Sindri! Hey guys, question for you. Anyone know where we can find Mimir's other eye? Oh. <laughs> That's... <laughs> I'm sorry. As a matter of fact, Odin asked me to... <laughs> He wanted me to build a... He showed it to me, you see, and I... The coin... Sorry, will you... Excuse me? Who? Well, that was useless. You know, it was about that same time that Odin came around looking for me to build a statue with some sort of hidden compartment. Now, that not being a weapon, and the Aesir being a bunch of box-speckled cockers, I too saw fit to decline. But I know we got it built just the same. What was the statue? 
I'd send one of Thor out there flashing his sack to the oh. lake. The statue that the Serpentate. Sorry about that. Feeling much better. How are we supposed to look inside the snake? Inside? We better go see what the world serpent has to say about that. Pity. Open to letting you go into his mouth to look inside. Ew. Really? By the by, he's not wild about it either. So, are we really doing this? Letting the serpent swallow us? You do not have to come. Well, I'm not gonna miss this. This is a good idea? No. Well, brothers, I've been to many strange places, but this will be a new one. <laughs> yeah. I've never been in a giant's belly either. How about you, Father? Never one who was not trying to eat me. You really should expect that sort of response at this point. About getting eaten. Dreams are nothing. I'm not afraid. It just reminded me of a way I used to feel when I was a child. Let's find that statue. <laughs> yep, that's an eye. Maybe you should stick that in my head for safekeeping. Gently now, gently. Thank you, brother. You don't miss depth until it's gone. Finally, we're going to Yodna. There's no stopping us now. Laddie, have you ever heard the term tempting fate? So how do we get back out? We see. Oh, God. What's going on? Well, that was mildly terrifying. Maybe our presence is upsetting Jormungandr's belly. No. Something is wrong. Nothing good! Glad that's over. Is he getting hit? What is that? We must hurry. Couldn't agree more, brother.
piece of this. What happened to him? Something we did? No. Something else. A dead giant. Why would the serpent leave us here? Look! Freya. We can still trust her. Right? Until we know for certain. Keep her distance. The world serpent. What's happened here? We hoped you would know. You are far from home. I'm looking for my son. The two of you. You helped me see things more clearly. You do not know where he is then? No. But the woods and fields speak his name. I know he walks here in Midgard. When did you see him last? Long ago. Before you were even born. Why are you standing so far from me? What's wrong? Something's happened. There! I had a feeling that hurting the big snake would bring the two of you out in the open. Do you have any idea, any idea at all, what you have cost me? I'm here. Don't run away. Oh, I'm not going anywhere, Mother. I know that you're still angry. I know that how you feel hasn't changed, but I, I want you... How, how I feel? How I feel? I've spent the last 100 years dreaming of this moment. I've rehearsed everything I ever wanted to say to you, every word, to make you understand exactly what you stole from me. But now, I realize I don't need you to understand anything. I don't need you at all. Back off, Kratos. This has nothing to do. This path you walk. Vengeance. You will find no peace. I know. You... I'll deal with you later. But family first. This again? Turn away, boy. This won't be pretty. I won't let you hurt him. No, boy. Fine. Stop! No! no. Atreus! You're bleeding. Breathe, boy. Breathe! Not my blood. <clears throat> I can feel this. Oh. Oh. I can feel everything. Oh. No! <laughs> He's vulnerable now.
belongs the mistletoe? In the quiver strap, yes. Mistletoe harmed him. Freya said it was wicked. He's more than harmed. The spell is broken. He can be killed. I'm certain of it. It's all coming back now. Now he remembers. She's controlling that thing? Stay out of it. I can reason with him. No, woman. You cannot. He means to kill you. You can't stop me. No one can. Where is he? I don't care if he kills me. I will protect him. I will not let him die. Now touch it. This will all be over soon. Father himself could not. I've never felt more alive. Oh, ironic, isn't it? What?
Stop interfering in my life! I was just trying to protect you! I wa- I've made mistakes, I know. But you're free now. You have what you want. Try to find forgiveness, we can build something new. I will parade your cold body from every corner of every realm 
and feed your soul to the vilest filth in hell. That is my promise. He saved your life. He robbed me of everything. Everything. You were just an animal. Passing on your cruelty and rage, you will never change. And you do not know me. I know enough. Does he? Boy, listen close. I'm from a land called Sparta. I made a deal with the god that cost me my soul. I killed many who were deserving. And many who were not. I killed my father. That was your father in hell. Is this what it is to be a god? Is this what it always ends? Sons killing their mothers? Their fathers? No. We will be the gods we choose to be. Not those who have been. Who I was is not who you will be. We must be better. Well, guess we are the bad guys now. In her eyes, yes. But she could never make that choice. this journey while I still have strength. I don't understand. I know saving her was the right thing. But she seemed all evil at the end. Not evil. You killed her son, lad. Her son. The death of a child is not something a parent gets over easily. But he was gonna kill her. She would have died to see him live. Only a parrot can understand. So you'd let me kill you? If it meant you would live, yes. Look, there was no easy choice. For anybody, brother. But I think we can all agree you did the right thing. The world's a better place with Freya in it. Just give her time, lads. She'll come around. Back to Tyr's temple, then. One last time. Aye. Jotunheim awaits. Why did Baldur say we cost him? Lord did not convince him that following you to Jotunheim would bring his cure. Lies, I'm sure. Why did Mistletoe break the spell? Vanir magic is powerful, but its rules are slippery and elusive. I'm sure it makes sense if you're a witch. Oh, but it's also bloody tragic. Balder was the greatest gift Odin granted Freya, the one thing she treasured from their marriage. She only hoped to spare him pain and spare herself loss. But such impulses can lead good parents to make terribly stupid decisions. This doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, I haven't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Ready? Oh, that's unpleasant! Now, boy!
We must be close. Well, what are we waiting for? Think it's far? We will see. A word, please, before we continue. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing the heat ruin in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone were to fight- Our lady sifts soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. Fine, damn it. Fine. Watch the head till we return. I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Ready. Come. Speak ahead. Right over there. We did it. We did. What are you doing? I have nothing more to hide. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. Hello? Anybody here? What is this place? They must have all come through here when they left Midgard. What was left of them. Odin and Thor, ruining everything for everybody. Where are they now? The Giants came back home so they could survive. But I'm not sure they did. Huh. Who's the Guardian? I should feel them, but I don't. 
This place is dead. What happened to them? Why'd Mom send us here? One question is answered, and two more take its place. story but what does it all mean that I was not the only parent with secrets you didn't know she was a giant She tell us. She sent us here knowing we would find this. But why not just tell us the truth? Her mother would have had good reasons. Balder was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. Yes. Mothers. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Let's finish it.
father. No. We do it together. Son. There's nothing for us here. Come. So, I get that mother was a giant, which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. Giants called me... Loki? Loki? That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home. She wanna end up here? You with her kind? But did she know it was gonna be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people? Or keep it a secret? I do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. Why'd you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> no. He was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We trained from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Hmm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. Oh, you missed it.
understand if you want to go home, but I bet there are still some corrupted Valkyries out there that could be set free. Some other help people. Maybe helping people was part of why Mom sent us out here, too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh. That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. Glad to see you. I believe I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Mimir? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? I should warn you. More time has passed than you likely realize. The snowfall that began when you slew Balder, it's become something else. The stuff of omens. Omens? For the coming of winter? Not just any winter, but a great winter to span three summers. And when we're done, Ragnarok begins. Ragnarok? So snow? Aye, snow. Lots more snow. And then the end of the bloody world. In that approximate order. Another prophecy. No, brother. Prophecy doesn't expect this for a hundred more winters at least. You've changed something. Prophecy didn't count on you. We're finally home. Feels like a lifetime ago. Bit drafty, maybe. It's a right improvement over having tree bark in your tadger. Time to rest. I'm gonna sleep through winter. Okay, this'll do. Sleep. Way ahead of you. Atreus, are you ready? Yeah, but I had the weirdest dream. Fimble Winter was ending, and Thor came for us, here at the house. It was only a dream. But it felt different. It felt real. It felt like... the future. Then we will worry about it tomorrow. Today, there are still things we can do. Come. <laughs> 